Whether you have pain in your back or joints, surgery may not be the answer. Instead of the dangers involved in cutting out tissue, consider healing and rejuvenating the area with stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. The treatments that are available to professional athletes are now available for you. Watch the videos at jointrehab.com or call the Darrell Wellness Institute at 800-300-9300. 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Welcome back to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. I'm your host, Nita Valens, and we'd love to hear from you today at 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. Right here in the studio, you can speak to Dr. Darrow. So, Nita, I'm going to lighten it up for you. You ready? Can't wait. (laughs) So, we always have a challenge for Nita. And uh, the challenge is to answer my dad jokes. Now, here's a book I'm showing to the video that was given to me for Christmas by Dr. Grove last night. We had a big party um, in Santa Monica. And um, so (laughs) I don't know why everybody gives me dad jokes, but there's a book. I will have to have a chat with him. (laughs) So, Nita, do you want to hear a joke about paper? Sure. Never mind. It's terrible. (laughs) I like that. I like that. All right. The bank robber took a bath after a heist. Do you know why? Because he touched the money and it turned purple on him. You know, you're kind of in the right realm. He wanted to make a clean getaway. Okay, that's cool. (laughs) I get that. Should I give you more? I don't know these old-fashioned terminologies, you know, like a clean getaway. (laughs) I'm too young for this stuff. Did you hear about the houses that fell in love? Yes, because there was an earthquake, and they fell on top of each other. That's good, but it's not funny. I know. It was a long-distance relationship. Uh (laughs) I like it. Okay, Nita, why did the belt go to jail? The belt went to jail because it had holes in it. Because it held up a pair of pants. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what belts do, huh? <laughs> do, do, you ever, <laughs> do you ever buy anything with Velcro? Um, it's a total ripoff. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's a good one. All right. Now I have one that I know you will never forget. Yeah. Why did the Scarecrow win an award? For because, being the best dressed Scarecrow at the event? Well, that could be true. Because he was outstanding in his field. Oh, ho, ho. that's a All good right. one. I'm going to let you off the hook. Neither we're going to go oh, to the question. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, we need your calls right now. Right here, yeah, right Give now. us a call. Give us a call. Make Nita happy. 866-870-870. Five seven five two. We'll send you out a free book called Stem Cell and, Re- and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, don't operate. I'll even pay the postage. You know what postage for this book cost? It's about eight bucks. Wow. I know. What's going on? They say inflation's down. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't. Well, I think that it's everything's gone up lately in the last few years about 30 percent like the stores you know food stores Uh, it seems like it seems like it's sooner than that but anyway okay so here is a painful shoulder question let's see what this person says right shoulder painful with any movement i was there i know what that feels like no cartilage between ball and socket the ball is the humerus bone the socket is the glenoid. You can look that stuff up on Google, the upper left-hand corner when you put those words in. If you just put in shoulder joint, you'll see what that means. And it's confirmed by an x-ray. Well, to me, x-rays don't confirm anything. Neither do MRIs because you can show terrible things on an MRI or x-ray or any image, a CT, and the person doesn't really experience that stuff. And we know that because there's so many studies that are done, and they're actually in my book, about how you can have things show up on these images that aren't really what you have. You may have 
arthritis, but you may not even know you have it. You may not have any pain or loss of range of motion. I have tried physical therapy, hyaluronic acid injections. Hyaluronic acid is a lubricant. A total of three injections, one week apart, and recently one cortisone shot. Well, the hyaluronic acid doesn't do anything, okay? That's a lubricant. It doesn't fix anything. And the cortisone shot makes you feel good, typically. This guy it didn't work for, he says, no improvement. But the cortisone actually destroys the cartilage in there. This person says they have no cartilage, but I doubt that is true. That's per an x-ray. Person says it's bone on bone. I don't believe that. The joint pops with any movement. The fact they're having movement means that it's not bone on bone. If you put two bones together and there's no cartilage on them, they are not going to move. I have Parkinson's diagnosed approximately nine years ago. Constant tremor right arm. Okay, I take care of tons of people with Parkinson's, and they still can heal. I can't fix the tremors. There is a way to fix uh, Parkinsonian tremors, though, uh, which I've read about. And it's called um, uh, some kind of ultrasound. You can look it up. Oh, I know it is. Focused ultrasound. Hmm. Med- Medicare pays for it. Insurance pays for it. So it's not a... Um, a, a woo-woo type of thing. It's actually being done all over the country, probably all over the world by now. So it's something to try instead of... Nita, you're breathing too hard. That means we must have someone waiting for me to talk to. We too. <coughs> which I will get to very shortly. Um, can stem cells grow back the cartilage in the shoulder? The answer is yes. What are the odds of success? Very, very, very high, probably 80 90%. And how long will the success be expected to last? That depends on you and how many injections you get. All right? That's a question that you should probably email me about through the website. And the website is www.jointrehab.com. Or come in for a consult with me. And the phone number to the studio, um, I'm sorry, the phone number to the office, actually be with Dr. Grove, is 800 300 9,300. So since Nita is breathing hard and wants me to talk to Claudio about his knee, that's what I'm doing. Claudio, how are you today? Hey, how are you? Good morning. I'm living, uh, I'm living it up, man. Hi, this is but, Dr. Mark Darrow. Nice to meet you. You too. Uh, I like the program. Thank you. Uh, me too. Just a, a question. I've, I've had a couple of knee surgeries. Uh, one of them was for an ACL repair Okay. Uh, or first a meniscus uh, tear, and then after that, continue uh, just playing a little bit of sports and, and tore my ACL. Okay. So now I have an ACL repair and yep. a uh, meniscus uh, repair or tear or tear repair. Okay. So um, tell me about how long I, ago? How long ago were the surgeries about? Not exactly, uh, just a year uh, or two years? Maybe <clears throat> 25, 30 years ago. Okay. And was that ACL repair done 25 to 30 years ago? It was, with staples. So okay. now when I get an x-ray, there's a couple yep. of staples that are holding uh, some sort of, uh, uh, I don't know, if, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what they put on me then, but sure. uh, I'm guessing animal uh, an anim- part of an animal. Uh, uh, Typically, uh, when there's an ACL know? repair, it's done from your own body. It's okay. done from from okay. the patellar tendon, okay. the middle the middle part of it, <clears throat> or the hamstring okay. tendon. It can also be done with a cadaver implant. So there's okay. different ways to do it. But the main thing, and um, you know, it's like talking about the horses that are out of the barn and trying to close the gate. It's too late. Most ACL repairs that are done don't need to be done, in my humble opinion. I always say that because I'm not the god of medicine. I'm just me with my experience, okay? And the reason I say that is because um, new studies show that, number one, ACLs can repair themselves. And number two, I see a lot of ACL tears that don't need surgery. And the first thing I'll do when they come in I'll put an ultrasound on it, I'll look inside, I'll see fluid, 
<clears throat> and I will aspirate. I'll numb it up, put a needle in, and take the fluid out. If the fluid is red, that means it's blood, okay, which signifies either an ACL tear or a meniscal tear. If someone has a trauma to their knee and it blows right up, that's typically, you know, immediately, it's typically an ACL partial tear or complete rupture. And the reason for that is the anterior cruciate ligament has a very good blood supply. So if it, it's torn, it leaks blood. Whereas the meniscus <clears throat> has a very poor blood supply to most of it. And therefore, if um, you injure your knee and it slowly blows up, that could be more of a meniscal tear situation. But we get so many people who come in with swollen knees that don't have either an ACL tear or a meniscal tear. Okay? So don't get caught up with someone diagnosing something that's not causing a problem. And when I get a person in with an ACL tear, first thing I do is I aspirate out the blood and let it start healing. I'll put stem cells in either right away or somewhat uh, soon and get the healing going. And um, I can't remember one of the ACL ruptures that I've taken care of that the person has not been able to go back to sports without a surgery. There's probably somebody out there, but I don't know who it is. If there is, they didn't. I'm sorry, could you repeat what you just said? Sure. The ACL ruptures that I take care of, I take care of with regenerative medicine, platelets and stem cells, usually stem cells. But that's before, that's that's, uh, prior to surgery. No 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 surgery. surgery. No surgery surgery needed, Claudio. Right. But what, what if someone like me has had a surgery already? and is having a little bit of trouble. I, I'm still, I, I continue to jog every single day, and I do it uh, uphill, but I continue to experience uh, sure. pain, uh, uh, not, uh, uh, not ongoing every day, but some maybe, I don't know, maybe two or three months of the year I experience sure. pain or or. Five weeks, six weeks out of the year. Sure. Well, you're a, you're a bad boy athlete, just like me. Times of the year. Yeah, you're a bad boy athlete, just like me. You're not going to stop. Um, there is a very, very, very high chance if we did PRP or PRP and stem cells on your knee, you would get rid of that pain. First thing I would do when you come in the office is I'd put the ultrasound, or Doctor Grove would put the ultrasound on the knee, and take a look inside. See what's going on. See okay. if there's fluid in there. Okay. See if, if there's okay, something well, I that can help. I'm going to, I thank you. Uh, I'm going to call that number. I, I have it written down for your office. What is your office? In what city? We're right across the street, across the freeway from UCLA in West LA okay. on Wilshire All Boulevard. Right. Okay, cool. That's yeah. uh, near four, uh, 605 and Sunset. Okay. Right. Not 605 and Sunset, 405 and Wilshire. 405. <laughs> yeah, different college. That's what I meant. Yeah, UCLA. <laughs> I meant. Well, I might need I might need also stem cells for my head, uh, for my memory a bit also, if you can do that. <laughs> but, uh, we'll talk about it when I come. Thank you for your time, okay? Have a great Claudio, time. Claudio, quick question. I'm curious, how old yes, are you? How old are you, Claudio? Uh, 62. 62. Okay, good. Well, there's good hope for you. There really is in getting your knee better and whatever else is bothering you. I'm 75. And I'm still uh, running almost every single day. Um, sometimes I'll just pump up instead or something like that, but that's rare um, that I yeah. won't run also because I just feel yeah, have, so you, good you, getting outdoors. You and, have that daily, we have that daily fight with our minds every day, but every day I convince, it, I convince myself to just get up and go do well, it. Well, you know what? There's a couple, things, a couple things that I do every day that... Um, I don't have to convince myself. One is meditating. I meditate about an hour every single day. And I'm addicted to that because it gives me so much bliss. And it cleans out all the cobwebs in my head. And any pain I have in the body usually will go away too. And then and then running. You know, I just, I need to be outdoors. I even sometimes run, you know, I bought these special um, shoes that have big knobs on the bottom for when it's raining out so I don't slip. You know, they're hiking, running shoes. 
And I'll yeah, just bun- I'm I'll bundle up. I'm about to also try, uh, just let me mention, I'm, I'm about to try, I just ordered uh, online yesterday uh, a pair of uh, 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 minimalistic uh, running shoes or no sole uh, or minimal sole. My son swears that I should be running barefooted and tells me every day that well, I Well, you could try it, see if it works for you. It works for some people and other people it doesn't. And yeah. um, the most difficult part about that, if there's no arch in the shoe, you can really end up with problems. And I have I used to live in Hawaii uh, on the street where the um, Hawaii Marathon was every year. So I'd watch all the runners. And there were quite a few people that ran barefoot there. Even yeah. when it even when it yeah. rained, they'd be running barefoot. But um, yeah. <laughs> you know, you want as far as I'm concerned, you want to have a good arch support when you're running because you're pounding and then stretching out the spring ligament on the bottom of the feet, and you're hitting the metatarsal bones, and um, we treat that all the time, and we make we actually make yeah, orthotics. I, I agree. I agree with you. Yeah, I, I'm having a, a hard time believing in it, but. I, I just uh, I, I'm not uh, like I'm not a hardcore runner. I just like I said I jog, but I do it uphill, yeah. like in a pretty good incline for yep. only a mile, only yeah. one that's mile. That's what I that's what I do too. Uh, I'm sorry. That's what I do too. In the morning, I typically run a mile, um, and at night, I typically walk a mile. And the, it, okay. lately, lately yeah, in the I dark. And I, I, I carry a golf I carry a golf club with me because there's lots of coyotes <laughs> where I live. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it, it's uh, very good talking to you. Thank you for your time. All I right, Claudio, you. God bless you. Luck. I'm going to give out the Thank phone you. number. It's 866-870-5752. This is Dr. Mark Darrow. And um, I do regenerative medicine instead of surgery. I inject the body with stem cells and PRP, platelet-rich plasma. Very simple procedures. And the nice thing is you walk into the office, you get injections, and you walk out. You don't need anyone to drive you. You don't need anesthetic. It's just real simple stuff. And we use very, very thin needles. So a lot of people who do this work use thicker needles because it's easier on their hands. Someone sounds like they are... um, uh, grinding their fingernails down. <laughs> is that you, need? <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I have a felt tip pen. I was writing oh. something down that you said that was so valuable. I don't want to forget it ever, right. ever. So we got a couple callers coming in, and uh, the first one is Graham. He's got low back pain. So Graham, how long has your back bothered you for? Hey, how's it going, sir? Um, I'm living I'm it up. The last six months, it's mainly my <clears throat> lumbar area. Yep. Uh, I had MRI recently, two bulging discs, but okay. mainly kind of creeping over to the right side now. Uh, mm-hmm. But you know, like even this morning, I was just could barely even get out of bed. Okay. So I just want to know your, your take on have you ever injected the, the lower back and uh, what do you every what do you every day overall? several times to different people. It's one of the most I'd say the most common there? the most common things we do are knees, shoulders, and then low backs, probably in that order. Okay. Um, so yeah. We do it all the time, and if you go to my website, www.jointrehab.com, that's joint, J-O-I-N-T-R-E-H-A-B.com, you'll see videos of me injecting backs, and uh, very simple to do. It takes a minute, and typically what we're doing is we're going into the ligaments, the iliolumbar ligaments, or the um, there's interspinous ligaments there. There is uh, the thoracodorsal fascia. There is the quadratus lumborum muscle, all these terms. You can look up on Google and see what's going on, see where your pain is being generated from. Bulging discs don't cause pain, so throw that MRI away. And uh, most people, as they age, get bulging discs but don't have back pain. Now, the ligament pain that you're probably having, and I don't know until I touch it, or Dr. Grove will know when he touches it, is something okay. that that uh, is not something you get surgery for. And even herniated discs and other things, in most cases, you don't need surgery. Then why are there so many back surgeries that are done? Don't ask me. I don't think it's a good thing. We get so many people with failed back syndrome. They've had a back surgery and it failed, and they're worse than when they started. 
And then yeah. some of them come in, they've had two or three, and they're ready for a fourth. I go, didn't you learn? And they go, well, the doctor says that's all I can do. Don't go to the same doctor if you've had a surgery from them already and it failed. Go right. somewhere right. else. And don't go to the same do- yeah. type of doctor. Go to a different type of doctor. Be conservative in medicine. Surgery is not conservative. It's dangerous. I've seen That's way right. too many things happen. I shouldn't say this, but I've seen people die on the table, have heart attacks from the anesthesia. There's all kinds of stuff that happens. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had uh, at least maybe 10 sessions of physical therapy and um, seems to be working okay, but... And I've had kind of um, chiropractic, and they hooked me up to like a machine on my pelvis and my my torso, distracting and then relaxing, and then sure. distracting again. So that helped somewhat. Okay. But I, I'm just having this continued pain. But okay. I'll well, Graham, Graham, you didn't you didn't mention that you have leg pain, do you? I don't have any leg pain now. Okay. So hear this. Listen. If you don't have leg pain, all this stuff you're doing isn't going to help your low back pain. Okay. It's when it's low back pain and it's not down the leg. It's not from discs. It's not from anything that you need to stretch out. Okay. It's to it's to regenerate the actual tissue that's holding those vertebrae together. Need I'm going to have to get you a regular pen. Okay. Anyway, uh Graham, there's a very yeah. high probability you can heal with PRP platelet rich plasma or stem cells if you chose that. I wouldn't know, and Dr. Grove wouldn't know, unless we actually touched the area. In one second, we can touch that area and tell you where it's coming from and if we can help you. All right. Well, yeah, that's reassuring. Well, there's good hope ahead for you if you don't heal. Hopefully, you just heal by yourself. Thank you, Graham. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. God bless you, Graham. um, so we're going to go to Valerie. Valerie, we're going to talk about your knee. This is Dr. Mark Darrow. And for anybody else who wants to call in, the phone number to the studio is 866-870-5752. And if you want to call the office and get a free consult uh, by my staff, call right now. The number to the office is 800 300 Valerie, your knee has been bothering you for how long? Hi. Thank you, Dr. Darrow. Well, um... I have a 35-year-old knee injury that um, left a pin in my knee. Okay. Um, my tibia broke off part of my fibula or vice yep. versa. I really yep, don't yep. remember. Okay. Um, but uh, I didn't have any ligament or um, you know, tendon damage at the time. But just recently, um, without any known injury to my knee. You know what? We're going to give you a call a little bit later. Okay, Valerie, don't worry. We'll get all your answers, all your questions answered. God bless you all for calling in. Thank you so much. If you want to get a hold of the office for a free consult with the staff, the number there is 800-300-9300. The website, we can watch videos of the procedures, jointrehab.com. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, you, and we'll see you next time. You've been listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow. And now that you've heard Dr. Darrow, Call his office at 800-300-9300 and speak to one of his joint rehab experts for free and ask for a copy of his book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Schedule an appointment by calling 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Or go online to jointrehab.com. Again, the website is jointrehab.com. Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow is heard Saturdays at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. here on AM870, The Answer. Take the first step toward a pain-free life. Call to schedule an appointment at 800-300-9300. That's 800-300-9300. Live long and pain-free. And thanks for joining us today.